But yes, lay away my, in my household, my dad was interesting, though, because, like, my dad, we would do lay away, and we would get it out. We would get it out on his schedule, his terms. True story, y'all. One year, I asked for a fur coat, y'all. No lie, y'all. I asked for a fur coat, straight up. This was 1994. We're still in the 90s, y'all. If you remember this, there was a hard freeze in 94. It was so bad that in October, they predicted that between December and February, it would be ice all over the roads. And they were right. It was a hard freeze. So I was like, now's my chance to get that fur coat. Because you know in Houston, you only get that chance to wear a fur, coat, a, fur, a fur coat every like two, three thousand years. So <laughs> now was the time. Y'all, I asked my dad for that fur coat in November, okay? I asked for it in November. I didn't get it until July. <laughs> Here's the part that made me mad. What made me mad was that my dad still tried to make me wear the fur coat in July. It's July 95, hot outside. I'm finna go play basketball at Dow Park. You know what I'm saying, back in the day, I used to hoop back in the day, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was my soul, so I wasn't really in comedy yet. Had my, had my little you know, muscle shirt on, hooping shorts, had my Nikes on. Like, hey, Pop, uh, I'm finna go hoop at Dow Park. I'll be back in a couple hours, Pop. He's like, uh, where are you going? I was like, yeah, uh, Dow Park to go hoop. He's like, where's our fur coat? It's 108 degrees outside. This is my dad. And I paid that $108. Go and get your coat. <laughs> Someone on a basketball court, a fur court, bouncing the ball like this. <laughs> Rocking the fur coat for like four games. Now, at first, I was not going to go to go play basketball, right? I wasn't gonna go at first though, but this is why it's my solace. Basketball was my big part of my life. It wasn't because I was good at it or cold at it, I was all right. But the reason why I loved it so much, because I always got picked first. And my men in here, you know when you get, get picked first for any sport, any sport, pride boost, you know that. The only reason why I got picked, because I was African, I'll be real with you. Wanna know why? Because in 95, who was the most popular Houston Rocket? <laughs> the three. So of course, they see me. They say, hey, Chindu uh, Ogu, Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon, Chindu Ogu. Ogu, Olajuwon, clearly, this is his son. <laughs> yep. We win in this game. This is why they ain't mad though. Like, when they would pick me up for the games though, they wouldn't pick me up, be like, hey, yo, we got Chin to do. Hey, we got Chin. No, no, no. They would never use my name. They would always pick me by using an African description. But, hey, yo, we got uh, Simba. Come on, we got Simba. Let's go, man. <laughs> Kunta, come on, we got, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, let's go, man. This is the worst one. Hey, we got, uh, 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 hey, yo, come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> but I'm hyped though. We're playing the game, I'm hyped. After my fifth game, I'm exhausted. I'm wearing, I'm wearing playing all these games in a fur coat, okay? <laughs> Looking like King B for Martin, okay? That was me. <laughs> Ever heard that? Anyway. Looking like him. After the fifth game, I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted. I can't do this no more. I sit down. I was like, look, I'm going to take the coat off, keep my eye on it, and when it's time, I'll just get the coat back later. Easy idea. You know what I'm saying? Now, y'all already, already like, ooh. <laughs> now, do y'all remember that Roadrunner cartoon where, like, Wiley Coyote, before he crossed the street, look to the left, don't see nothing. Look to the right, don't see nothing. Take two steps, like that. That was my dad. I got the program, I was like, okay, it should be okay. 
Look to the left, didn't see him. Look to the right, didn't see him. Took one sleeve off. Put on that coat. Oh, wait, 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 where, where is it, where is it? He hopped out the bushes, bye, and beat me down for like 20 minutes. Like, he beat me down as if I was trying to challenge for the mantle of Black Panther, okay? Like that. Just. Here's the bad part. It was 90 people at the park, and nobody helped me. In their mind, it's some kind of like African ritual, so they just start chanting like it's some African fight. They start doing this. Challenge today. <laughs> 